Alright, welcome back to Ori in the Blind Forest. In the last video, we discovered quite a few new things. We discovered we can open these doors with fragmenty things, and we discovered that there are little map, broken map things, and we can insert a map fragment in them to uncover more of the map that we haven't been to yet, which is very good, which is what we're going to do follow now. Because, in fact, can we get up there? No, we can't. So right now, we've opened that door to the left of where we are there. And presumably, we've got to work our way up there. So let's work our way up there, after killing these things. For sweet experience. Oh, we're going to level up soon as well. I want to level up. Oh, so close, so close. And there we go, leveled up. So now let's make a save point up top here. Oh, frick. Up top here. Let's make it here. Then we'll access the ability tree and see where we want to spend that point. Now, ah, right, I see. So I can't go too far down this tree too early. So I can't get that charged flame burn because I don't have charged flame yet. Ah, interesting. Okay, that's kind of good. So it forces you to balance it out, which kind of negates the whole choice aspect of it, doesn't it? In a way, but still. Okay, so... Let's see. Ah, so that one doesn't require any special things, so I could go way down that one. And also way down that one until I need charge flame there, okay. So do we get map markers, perhaps? That could be handy. Rekindle allows reusing soul links and shortens the cooldown time. See... I, I don't see the use of that. I don't think I want that. So I'm going to get that. Now, is that going to... Ooh! Oh, that... Oh, yes! Oh, thank you very much! Okay, so there's a door there that requires four things in order to get through. And there are four things in this area we're coming to now. Okay, that's beautiful. And it shows the map thing in the center of the screen there. Where we had to insert the map fragment. Okay, okay, so let's get on up here. And I can smash this to recharge my energy. And... Holy crap, this is very braid. This is very braid. And get on up here. Soul Link is ready, I shan't be using it. Wait for it to fire, get on up. Up, 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 up. Oh, jeez, that was close. I want to get that for the experience. And up here. Alright, now which ones have we missed? We've not missed any yet, nice! So we can either go... We're going to go on the left path here, because that leads... This is the That's the only way to get to the one we need on the far left. In the upper left, sorry. Might as well smash that. Okay, and up on here. And up here. Ah, that's Trixie. Ow, balls! I was hoping to do this without getting hurt. But hey, that is fine. Come on, you can fire, please. In fact, can I kill them? No, of course I can't kill them. They're a platforming mechanic thing. And up here. And grab this. So now... Now we need to find a way through to there. But we can't get there yet. Interesting. Maybe that door to the very top will lead us through there. Okay. Oh, can I do it before? Yes! Oh, that's for that door! What's that number four there, then? Because I assumed that number four indicated that was a door that needed four things to open. But... This one up here had no numbers next to it, so maybe that's something different entirely. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna make a save here. Is this the tree itself? Okay. 
So Ori is a her. I should keep. I should refer to her as a her. It's kind of my bad. I can't jump or do anything else here. Now what's this? The ancient being. Yeah, the tree does appear to be an ancient being. So what's this doing for us? Ah, okay, so I died and then the spirit tree did that thing and then saved us. Okay, okay. The night of the light ceremony. It was our light that she hated. Who was she? Who was she? Lots of little Ori things. Oh dear. So these are the things that we're fighting now, presumably, or... Holy Christ! Oh dear. Oh dear, and that's gonna kill the tree! And now we need to go and find it. I bet. Oh, it broke it. Oh dear. Yes, I'm listening, I understand, I think. Okay, the spirit's tree sustained the three elements of light and in turn they brought balance and kept Nibel, Nibel, Nibelheim, ah, Final Fantasy VII, yeah, safe. Okay, so we need to go to these four places and get the elements. Yeah. Okay, so that was water. This is winds in the ruins. Fire in the volcano? Now oh, the element of warmth, okay. The fires of Mount Horu, which is of course a volcano, I imagine. Right, so we've got to do it before time or something runs out. The first we will find beyond the spider cove is atop the tree where the waters once flowed. Which is there, so we've got to go there first. Objective find the spirit tree, so... Um... How do I get there? Is that just showing me where I have to go and I've got to walk there manually? Oh! Oh, see, I was thinking it was going to be some kind of world mappy system. Where I had to sort of just choose an area and it would warp me there and then explore that area. I'm kind of glad it's not that. Can I go over to the left? Because I think there was something over to the left. Like, because we came up from a hole or something. There's not something up here. Oh, there is! More, another one of these walls. That we can't get past. What's beyond these walls? Maybe the charge flame or something will allow us to get past or something? I don't know. I don't know either. I've just saved the game back there, so I'm not going to save it again. In fact, it might be wise to save it again. You know, I'm going to save it because he, he seemed to recharge these things fairly quickly. Oh. Yep, my platforming instincts told me that ground would fall. Oh dear. Ah, I see. I see, so I can go down there. Which I'm gonna do. Down we go! Oh dear. I need to get the health back as well, so the experience will just be a bonus there. And uh, now we're gonna have to use the wall jump more... More... More often or something. 
Yeah, now we can save twice again already. Oh, there's a thing. Oh, bump. I'm still getting used to the frequency at which, at which you can do the wall jumps, because you can't just spam it. Still getting used to it. Okay, pull the lever. Ah, and that will allow us to get... Oh, there's a thing on the top left there. I want it. I want it a lot. Okay, so I can go down here. And I can... What the hell is that? Is that going to hurt me? And um, what the devil is this thing? It's something I can't hurt yet. It's got the same kind of glow as the, um, as those walls that we can't destroy yet. Like this one here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. If I go down there to the left, I can't get back out without either getting a double jump or something that can destroy these walls. So I'm going to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Metroidvania, Metroidvania-ish, isn't it? Which is, of course, a good thing. Is this a thing here? No, it's not. Nice, grab that experience. Yeah, an ability. The spirit that died here was strong, strong and courageous. Okay, and that's going to give us some kind the charge flame, no doubt. Charge flame. Or maybe some kind of charging ability where we can run. Charge Flame! To learn Charge Flame, to use this ability, hold X to charge and release X to detonate and damage everything in proximity. Ah, okay. So hold it. It's charging. Ooh! I can't see the charge. Ah. The thing, the, the glowy thing that's talking to us. That makes me sound insane. Glows, grows in size when it's... Oh, that uses energy! Oh, Christ! I can't, because I've not got... I've got no energy! Ah, that thing's growing back, okay. Phew, I didn't know that used energy. That's unfortunate. Yes, let's smash this. Yeah! Okay, so can we maybe now destroy this, that thing on the right there? I'm gonna try. Now, this thing does seem to be very limited in uses, which is unfortunate. So I'm gonna try smashing this. Yeah! Whoa, that's a lot of experience. That's a very good thing. I'm gonna go down here now, though, because I've not been down here yet. Is this gonna be safe? Of course it's not gonna be safe. Oh, it seems to be relatively safe. Large spirit light container. Spirit light has been added to your blurb. Find more spirit light containers to quickly gain ability points. Okay, so that's just a large amount of experience, basically. Let's smash it. Yeah. And another one to recharge here. Very good. No, no, you freaking don't, sucker. So I wonder if that can damage enemies. I would imagine that can damage enemies. Looks like we can get up here. <laughs> See, I was too quick for it there. Something over here? There is nothing over here. A double jump again to get up there. Frick. In fact, have we been here before? No, we have not been here before. It looked familiar. Briefly. Okay, oh, nearly got hit there. In fact, we have been here. Yeah, this is. Yeah, we have been here before. Of course. Okay, so what I want to do now is head back to the spirit tree room and then smash the thing, that, the wall that we couldn't get through. So that means going all the way back to the left and then up. Although to the right and up could be quicker. Yeah, I'm going to go to the right and up. Because that way I don't have to dodge all those projectile-y things. Assuming I can actually get up there. Okay, so straight right, yeah. And this should be fairly easy to get up, because it's a very it's a linear path with nice climby walls. Nice climby wall, that's that's a thing. Okay, head onto the left car. Yeah. And then up here, I believe. Yeah, we can reach Ah, so does it maybe recharge on its own slowly over time? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so I don't need to access the ability tree yet, because I've got no points, of course. 
So continue on to the left past the tree and blow up that thing that's to the left here. Does this recharge me? No, it doesn't, but I can't save there, so I might as well do it. I absolutely might as well do it. Okay, so up on here. And let's smash this thing. And what's this going to do for us? Valley of the Wind. Oh. Is this the wrong way to go? Okay, that looks like I can get down there because there's clearly some kind of weird platformy thing there. Can I maybe smash it? No. Oh, that's a new enemy. Oh, frickin' frick. This is dangerous. This is danger. This is danger zone. Yeah, this area is... Ah, right. So you've got to use those enemies to smash those the weak ground. Okay, good. Ability cell... That just flat out give me an ability point? Wow. Okay, now I know this area is clearly too dangerous so far. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Frick. I can kill this thing. I can kill it. It's got very predictable AI. It just charges at you every now and again. And got it. Okay, I'm not going to go any further in there. Now. Oh. I saw something up there. There's a big thing up there, but I can't get up there. No. I want double jump. I, I'm seriously a double jump whore. Any game that gives me double jump automatically gets like 10 out of 10 for me. Nearly, anyway. Does this... Ah, this restores my life as well. Nice. I've got an ability point, so let's get to the save point over to the right here. Right here, and then access the ability tree. Uh, charge flame burn improves the radius and damage of charge flame. See, I'm not using that to fight. I don't think I'll ever be using that to fight, although maybe I should, because it does seem to be very powerful. Allow spirit flame to damage two times. That, that seems really nice. And in order to get that, I need this. Let's have another look, though. Life efficiency, no. Rekindle, I should really start going down this tree. Halves the cost of charged flame, oh. Oh, in, oh man, oh. Okay, I'm going to go here. Then we're going to get that. And then... Because I can't get that until I get bash. So once I've got that, I'm going to start going down this tree here. That's my thinking. Okay, so let's head on down, not to the left there, to the right. Because I really want to be able to attack two enemies at once. I suspect that's going to be important later. In fact, important probably very soon. Because in that area we were just in, there were there were two enemies. And they were really kind of toughens as well. Okay, so no point me going up there. Come on. And thank you. Oh, jeez. I thought that was the, the corpse of one there. <laughs> okay, so now where do we want to go again? Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? We need to get over there. How do we get there? I'm mildly lost here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You see, there's a door there in the center of the screen off the map. Maybe we've got to find a way up there. Which means we need to go back where we just came from. That might be the case. I'm thinking it might be the case. So let's head on up there and have an investigate. Oh, one second. I need to check my timer. Oh, and you're at the end of this episode. My tablet just told me it was going flat, so I'm probably going to have to end the recording session soon, which is really sad. Okay, so this is not there. We need to get over to the top right there. Is that somewhere we can go? Can we go somewhere from there? Oh, we freaking well can, you know. I might as well smash that. I don't need to, but hey. Ah, no, this is... So what's that? Oh, yes! I forgot about that. I forgot about that thing. I completely forgot we did that. Okay, let's get there right now. I want to at least get up there before I end the video. Okay, give me your experience. And let me on up here. I completely forgot about that. I need to keep focused. And that's a big thing there. Something tells me that's going to require a charge flame. I don't know why. Something just tells me that. Oh, frick. 
I'm good at platforming games. Okay, so I can smush that. Lots of smushing. Oh, that launches off into other enemies, into other things. Yo, oh, ability point. Let's go get that now, because that could be very good for us. Let's get the split flame there next. We'll start heading up this thingy tree, whatever it's called. Uh, the, the whatever it is tree. Because there are some abilities there I really do want. Okay. Dude. Dude, there we go. Now, can I get over there? No, I don't think I can get over there right now. Okay, so that's good to know. That's good to know. Or maybe you can do it, but it's just very difficult. I don't know. Yeah, see, the platforming controls in this game are lovely. They are so lovely. Now, I obviously can't get up there. Anything up there? There, there are going to be secrets everywhere in this game. I just know it. Okay, I'm not going to smash that yet, because I might need it. I'm going to use the charge flame here. Oh! -ho -ho -ho! That was probably a really bad idea. Deadly detonation and flying fury. What's the flying fury thing? Either way, though, I want this health now, because I got took damage. Oh, there's another thing up there now. That's going to fire off into multiple things, which is going to make that double flame thing that we just got very handy. Ah, so that does act as a platform. Okay. Oh, that is gorgeous. And the explosion thing here. That looks like a skull in those webs there on the right. You see on the on the right screen on the at the level I want, it looks like a skull in webs. That has to have been on purpose. Because there's a nose and a mouth and eyes and everything. Oh, this is a boss fight, isn't it? And it showed me exactly how to beat it. Okay, I'm going to go up. I can see how to do this. I can see how to do this. Press X to open this energy door. I don't want to. I can't. So, tough titties. Yeah, see, it, that's it. it's connected to a sort of one of those explodey... Those wall things that we can explode with our energy. Okay, you know what? This looks to be a pretty in-depth area. So, let me end the video here, because we are at like 23 minutes. So, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the next one when we will beat the crap out of this area. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and goodbye for now. I will see you in the next one.